Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. On this opportunity, I would like to give a picture about application of papaya leaves level on multi-nutrient block as with supplement upon palatability and fit consumption of thin tailed sheep. This study was done by me, Ratno Iswarin Bujaningsi, uh, together with Mr. Baginda Iskandar Muda Tambubolon, Mr. Surahmanto, Mr. Muhammad Askawibowo, and Ms. Alivia Putri Pratiwi. We are from Faculty of Animal and Agriculture Science, Diponegoro University, Semarang. Feed is the main factor to increase livestock productivity increasing the productivity of ruminants through the provision of practical nutrients must be developed so that it can be easily applied by farmers. The problem that often occurs is that there are still many livestock that are only given forage feed with low quality. This causes low feed digestibility, so it needs to be given complementary feed or supplements. Papaya leaves can be used to improve digestibility so that the, ap the appetite of livestock increases and livestock productivity will increase. However, the content of tannin and saponins can cause a bitter taste that is not liked by livestock. So, in this study, the provision of papaya leaves was combined with fit supplement in the form of multi-nutrient block. The saponin content of papaya leaves can function as to suppress the number of protozoa in the rumen so that the fit digestibility will increase. Papaya leaves contain lots of vitamin C, vitamin E, papain enzymes, and B-carotene. Papaya leaves also contain other compounds such as alkaloids, carpines, saponins, flavonoids, and tannins. The content of flavonoids can be a reducing agent for protozoa. The decrease in protozoa can lead to an increase in cellulolytic bacteria. To reduce the bitter taste of papaya leaves, it was combined with multinutrient block which has molasses content. It was hoped that molasses may cover the bitter taste caused by saponin and tannin. Multinutrient block is a complementary feed that contains a variety of nutrients such as energy, protein, and minerals. Feed supplement is an additional feed that can improve rumen performance by optimizing the activity of rumen bacteria so that digestibility is maximized. Table 1 showed the composition of multinutrient block which has papaya leaves content as well. Materials and method, design study and parameters observed was shown in the screen and was continued by result and discussion. The best result of total digestible nutrient were found in T3 treatment with the addition of papaya leaf level as much as 8%, which was thought to be able to increase total digestible nutrient in experimental shape. Papaya leaves contain saponin that function as defaunation agents, that is suppressing the number of protozoa in the rumen so that bacteria can work optimally in the fermentation process of feed, which cause digestibility to increase. The next table showed that feed intake increased during addition of multinutrient blocks containing papaya leaves. So, it can be assumed that livestock did not experience health problems even though they were infected with worms. This means that the provision of multinutrient blocks with various levels of papaya leaves is safe for consumption by livestock and can improve their health. The supplementation of multinutrient blocks with papaya leaves is expected to increase the productivity and health of livestock. Next table showed dry matter consumption that can affect average daily weight gain. The higher the consumption, the higher the body weight gain. The level of giving 8% papaya leaves to the 
multinutrient block resulted in the best average daily weight gain. The bitter taste caused by saponin and papaya leaves can be neutralized by multinutrient blocks, so it does not interfere with the palatability of livestock. Come from the conclusion? Based on the research result, it was assumed that there was a significant difference in the result of increasing palatability and feed consumption of thin tail sheep along with the increased level of papaya leaves in the multinutrient block until level of 8% in the multinutrient block. That was all about our study. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.